This is a, a video of the ongoing restoration of a Mason and Hamlin Ampico B uh, with a Hickman action in it. And specifically what I want to talk to address this a video about today is some of the challenges that we're going to have in the restoration process. So this particular uh, video will address hammer shanks. Um, as you can see, uh, the upper the upper uh, assembly here is a completed uh, assembly for one note in the Hickman Action Piano. Um, it's it's complete. It's got the flange, the hammer. It's got the unique parts to the Mason and Hamlin action. And this is what we're facing in this restoration. So here we have a broken part here where this uh, hammer was pinned. And so that's going to have to be reproduced. In this particular piano, there are approximately six to seven uh, notes, individual notes that he either are have missing components or broken components, and they'll need to be completely redone. So in this case, what we're focusing on is the hammer shank, and that in itself represents a little bit of a challenge. Uh, but what we've decided to do is to use existing hammer shanks uh, to modify them in order to come up with a, a something that can be used or replicate what the original hammer shanks were. The original hammer shanks, because of this design, are a lot shorter. And so what we do is we start off, and I'll just put this here just to give you an idea. We have another Mason and Hamlin um, piano from the 1930s that actually had what appeared to be pretty good parts to be donor to, to provide donor shanks and what I've discovered and you know I'm not a uh, I'm not a piano technician so this is kind of new ground for me is that in in looking at different hammers and shanks that were available they all vary in design or geometry slightly so finding an exact <clears throat> replica seemed to be out of the question and therefore I looked to find something that was as close as I could and then modify it. So in this case, <clears throat> we started off with a 1930 um, uh, hammer and shank assembly. We I took the pin out, took off the, the knuckle here. And so that gives us the hammer, and the, the hammer and the shank to deal with. And if you take a look, the next step here just to show you what we have, you can see that the geometry here, for the most part, in terms of the opening, where the, the, the pivot point is, everything about this shank from the Hickman action and this is fairly well identical, the only exception being the transition point from the square to the round section. Now the round section is identical. It's approximately, it's a little over 200 thousandths. It's 1364 And so then the, the, the challenge there was to be able to, uh, you know, cut that back to match that. And here, that's what we've done here. Um, like I said, we have approximately uh, six or seven notes that we have to, to, to recreate because of the broken parts or missing parts. And this is just four of them, which have had their, have been completely disassembled. We've had the work done to move the shanks back and that should be it. So we've got a lot of the other components have been already manufactured. And in, in, in particular, the metal components, the real challenge for this particular project will be the wood components and the unique bearing assembly that we have here in the original Hickman action. Uh, that happens to be very, very similar to the composite, uh, the bushing used in the composite, currently the composite action parts that are produced by Wessel, Nickel and Gross. And so my plan is to kind of harvest those bushings and, and be able to somehow use those in a restoration for these parts that need to be reproduced. Um, because this is a, a player, I'll probably end up sticking the six or seven notes uh, at the lower and the upper end of the registry, or the scale of the piano, I should say, 
And that way, those, those notes being probably played less than most other ones, but they'll be there and should work out very, very well. Hope you've enjoyed this. Stay tuned for additional updates with other components that we're, we're making for this project. Thank you.